Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel Anvani Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, my channel lo intermediate first year, second year, some of the twenty, any answers ni chapter wise ga upload yes to unnano. So catch thenga na channel subscribe yes kunte miki inter first year lo na twenty any topics gula na channel lo durutai. Adhe videnga intermediate second year durutai. The same time M set videos gula upload che bo tu unnano. So, and the catch thing on our channel, subscribe to the regular follow on So, in this video, I am going to explain about the one of the important long answer in the chapter of loss of motion that is belongs to first year physics. First year physics law loss of motion in chapter one is the first long answer question. So, board me the already question on the long answer law, render parts on the A, B, and A on the so first part question to see this one. दिन कंटिन्यूस का ऑलरेडी देनो सेकंड बी गुड़ा अप्लाई चेस्टा नो लास्ट वाली वीडियो चूसते मैं कावेशम तेरे सुनने वीडियो चूसते टप्पू चार जागर तेरा ओपिगा चुरने अपडे मन कंटेंट में क्रिएट होते होंगे ओके ना सो देर इज वन क्वेश्चन इज देर फर्स्ट लांग आंसर क्वेश्चन द चैप्टर ऑफ लास्ट ऑफ मोशन द दानिंची न्यूटन सेकेंड आ इन एट्वेंटी एफीजी को सेम ये इक्वेशन ने डरे चाहे मंडे ना डू सो व्हाट इस न्यूटन सेकेंड ला एंड व्हाट इस इट्स इम्पोर्टेंस द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ ए बॉडी इस डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू द अमाउंट ऑफ फोर्स एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी द रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम ऑफ � Amount of external force acting on the body. Then the rate of change of momentum of your body is directly proportional to the directly proportional proportional to the external force acting on the body. So children, so here we can represent the momentum like with P. So this equation should be written like this. F is proportional to dp by dt we are writing d by dt of means we are comparing the quantity with respect of time that's why what you say rate of change of momentum with respect to the time okay so this is the newton second law the external force f and what is dp by dt rate of change of momentum is directly proportional to the external force and here you have to know what is momentum what is the momentum momentum is nothing but product of product of mass and velocity mass and velocity of a body is called of a product of mass and velocity of a body is called momentum so if any body has some mass and velocity that should be consist of momentum and here we will write momentum like this in the form of equation p is equals to m v p is equals to m v what is p here momentum what is m mass what is v velocity now in this case what we have to write units of momentum si units are kg meter per second for velocity what you know meter per second for mass what we know kg so kg meter per second and cgs units are s gram centimeter per second so these are the units of momentum and now here from newton second law what we have to say the momentum of the body can be changes only because of external force when external force is increased its velocity is increased when velocity increases, momentum also increases. When force is decreased, velocity decreases. Then momentum also decreases. So here, what you have to say, we have to write P is proportional to V. When M is constant, M is constant. When mass is constant, momentum of the body is directly proportional to the velocity. The body which, which is having more velocity that should be kinds of momentum more momentum so mass constant and 
ఈ వెలాస్టికి మొమెంటం మధ్య డైరెక్ట్లీ ప్రపోర్షనల్గా ఉంటుంది వెలాస్టి వాల్యూ ఇంక్రీజ్ అయితే మొమెంటం వాల్యూ కూడా ఇంక్రీజ్ అవుతుంది వెలాస్టి వాల్యూ డిక్రీజ్ అయితే మొమెంటం మాస్ ఆఫ్ డిక్రీ చేస్ చిల్డ్రన్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ మేనర్ యూ విల్ రైట్ పీ ఈస్ ప్రపోర్షనల్ టు ఎం ఇట్ మీన్స్ దట్ హియర్ వీ ఈస్ కాన్స్టెంట్ వెలాస్టి ఈస్ కాన్స్టెంట్ వెన్ వెలాస్టి ఈస్ కాన్స్టెంట్ మొమెంట్ మీన్స్ డిపెండ్ అపాన్ ది మాస్ moment which directly proportional to the mass of the body the body which has more mass that we can say of more momentum so that means simply what you have to say momentum is depend upon the two factors mass and velocity again these two are depend upon the external force acting on the body so this is simply about the momentum children here now derivation derivation of f is equals to ma derivation so what it is f is proportional to dp by dt according to newton's second law of motion so when we are having proportionality to equate them we have to use one constant f is equals to k into dp by dt so here k is called proportionality constant what is k children proportionality constant so here we are writing like this f is equals to k into d by dt of here what is p p is the momentum what we know what is momentum p is equals to mv so d by dt of mv so children when we applied some force the velocity is going to be changed but mass is going to be never change manam force apply edam valla oka object yokka mass ani increase avadam gaani decrease avadam gaani jaragadu so kabatti ikkada f is equals to we are reading k into m into d by dt of v d by dt of v so children what we know d by dt of v d by dt of v rate of change of velocity so what we know a is equals to dv by dt rate of change of velocity what we call acceleration that's why here what write f is equals to k into m into a so this is a f is equals to k into m into a so if we can prove k value is equals to 1 then f is equals to ma is can be derived De- derived look here so f is equals to k ma we are taken so when the value of k becomes 1 means look here simply this is a one body thus we having mass 1 kg the body has mass 1 kg on that body we applied 1 newton force then its acceleration is 1 meter per second squared clear we are taken body mass is 1 kg and we applied some force how much 1 newton and then its acceleration is what 1 meter per second squared so during that condition k becomes 1 k becomes 1 when the value of k is equals 1 when we applied 1 newton amount of force on the body of mass 1 kg then the body can be accelerated with an acceleration of 1 meter per second square then k value becomes 1 therefore from that what you have to write very simple f is equals to km yellow we are substituting the 1 k means what 1 therefore f is equals to m a so children this is what you have to say f is equals to m a this is called newton second law equation what it is newton second law equation so children f is equals to ma that means what when the body we are applying some force the body's acceleration will be changes so f is proportional to a and we can divide the newton second law nunchi newton first law man define cheyochu okay na so adi manaki answer raya avasaram ledhu but kavadi tarvata mana vere concept lo discuss cheyadam okay so this is the first part of the long answer so f is equal semi derivation anadi ee vidhanga derive cheyali children so while you are watching the video you must prepare the notes it will be helpful to you edo simple ga chuste mee concept ardham kaadu notes prepare cheskondi chadukodam kuda help avutundi okay na children up to now we discussed about the first part of the long answer question now second part so long answer lo a b ani istadu a ki 6 marks unte b ki 2 marks unte andaru em chestaru ante generally ga a meda focus chestaru b ni neglect chestaru anduvalle chaala mandi marks kolipothunnaru so ala kaakunda undalante b kuda kachithanga mana attempt cheyalasi untundi 
చూడండి వెరీ సింపుల్ క్వశ్చన్ వాటేమో చూడ చూడండి ఏ బాడీ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ ఎలాంగ్ ఏ సర్క్యులర్ పాత్ సచ్ దట్ ఇట్ స్పీడ్ ఆల్వేస్ రిమైన్స్ కాన్స్టెంట్ షుడ్ బీ షుడ్ దేర్ బీ ఏ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ ఏ బాడీ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ ఎలాంగ్ ఏ సర్క్యులర్ పాత్ సచ్ దట్ ఇట్ స్పీడ్ ఆల్వేస్ రిమైన్స్ కాన్స్టెంట్ షుడ్ దేర్ బీ ఏ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ ఒక బాడీ అనేది సర్క్యులర్ పాత్లో మూవ్ అవుతుందంట మూవ్ అవుతున్నప్పుడు అది కాన్సెంట్ స్పీడ్తో మూవ్ అవుతుంది అలాంటి సందర్భంలో దాని మీద ఫోర్స్ యాక్ట్ అవుతుందా అడుగుతున్నాడు సో ఇక్కడ చూడండి సో మనము ఫస్ట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు టేక్ వన్ సర్క్యులర్ పాత్ ఇన్ దట్ సర్క్యులర్ పాత్ వన్ బాడీ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ ద బాడీ దట్ బీ హ్యావింగ్ సమ్ మాస్ యమ్ సో దిస్ ఈజ్ సెంటర్ అండ్ రేడియస్ ఆఫ్ డిస్టెన్స్ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇట్ రేడియస్ ఆఫ్ సర్క్యూస్ వాట్ ఆర్ క్లియర్ సో ద బాడీ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ విత్ ఏ కాన్స్టెంట్ స్పీడ్ కాన్స్టెంట్ స్పీడ్తో పోతున్నప్పుడు ఆ బాడీ మీద మనకి ఫోర్స్ యాక్ట్ అవుతుందా అంటున్నాడు సో అకార్డింగ్ టు న్యూటన్ సెకండ్ వాడు రైట్ ఎఫ్ఈసి ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఎంఏ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ కావాలంటే ద బాడీ మస్ట్ బీ కన్సిస్ ఆఫ్ యాక్సలరేషన్ సో ఎఫ్ఈసి ఈక్వల్స్ టు ఎంఏ మనం రాస్తున్నాం కాబట్టి ఇక్కడ బాడీకి యాక్సలరేషన్ ఉందనుకోండి వైల్ ద బాడీ ఈస్ మూవింగ్ ఎలాంగ్ ది సర్క్యులర్ పాత్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ కన్సిస్ ఆఫ్ యాక్సలరేషన్ దేర్ మస్ట్ బీ ఫోర్స్ దేర్ మస్ట్ బీ ఫోర్స్ యాక్టింగ్ ఆన్ ద బాడీ సో అంటే ఆ బాడీకి యాక్సలరేషన్ ఉంటే then what you have to say that body can experience this force if acceleration is not there force is not there on the body so what we know children acceleration is what change in velocity by time change in velocity by time change in velocity by time taken so this is the formula for acceleration so now we have to observe is there any change in acceleration or not for example here according to the situation we are saying that here it is moving with constant speed like this so i am taking 30 meter per second at every point the should be it is having speed of 30 meter per second again 30 meter per second again 30 meter per second again 30 meter per second here so in this case speed is constant speed is constant but velocity is not constant velocity is not constant why velocity is not constant means that if we can draw if we can draw a tangent line at a point on the circle that will use the direction of velocity so at this point we are drawing the tangent like this this is the direction of velocity at this point this is the direction of velocity so if you can draw a tangent line at a point on the circle that will gives the direction of velocity direction of velocity that's why while a body is moving along the circular path there is some possibility to draw the so many tangent lines like this then direction of velocity changes then velocity also changes velocity is the scalar con sorry vector quantity velocity is the vector quantity that should be having some magnitude and direction magnitude and direction so among these two if any one of the changes velocity is changes so in this case the magnitude is 30 meter per second it is constant but direction is changes direction is changes when direction changes velocity changes when velocity changes body can experiences the acceleration when acceleration is there the body can experiences the force clear that's why according to this question simply how to write as while the body is moving along the circular path with a constant speed then there is force acting on the body why because when you can draw a tangent line on the circle that will use the direction of velocity even though magnitude is constant its direction of velocity changes when velocity changes the body will gains the acceleration when velocity acceleration is there obviously the force is acting on the body that should be what right f is equals to m a so this is about the children long answer question so i hope you understand while you are watching the video you have to prepare the notes then you can easily understand the concept so if you can understand this concept like share comment the video and if any one of your friend is also there for you for them also size our channel 
వాళ్ళకు కూడా చాలా హెల్ప్ అవుతుంది ఓకేనా థ్యాంక్ యూ